Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play Enderol. Excuse you, whoever that was. We're in the uh, we're in the Sun Temple. We have some business to do with. Um, we need to speak with Arch Magister Mer Meriel in the Chronicum's basement about. Oh yes, about. Uh, reading the memories of a dead Pyrian or something like that. They have a frozen Pyrian somewhere. I don't know. But um, before we do that, we've got a few things to do. I need to sell some things. I need to decide whether I'm keeping this crossbow. I think I will. Um... I need to visit the Undercity. Prophet. I need to visit the Undercity. I need to uh, maybe go to the Golden Sickle. Because apparently they have work that we could ask about. So a few things I want to do knocking around town. So we're going to get on with that first. It's a very nice day out here for once. Oh yeah, look at that view today. That's much nicer. Very cool. Right, we're going to the blacksmith. First of all. Hey, Halder, I need some equipment. Sold. You'll have to pay normally, though. As much as the Grandmaster favours you, metal and work don't come for free. Right, what do I have to get rid of? I want to get rid of this bell hammer. I'm hanging on to that. I don't know what it is, but for now. Uh, crossbow, I'm keeping that. Um, sell that and that's all I can sell to you. I'm, I'm gonna get rid of this shovel, I'm just carrying that around. I haven't used it in ages. Walk blessed. Thanks. Um, I've got loads of learning points and crafting points. Maybe I should do some training in something. What do you sell? Sure. You'll have to pay normally, though. As much as the Grandmaster favours you, metal and work don't come for free. I could do some one-handed. Maybe. I don't have money. It's so expensive. Let's get three of these. That's the right one, isn't it? I, I'm 25 at the moment, so... Uh... What? Oh, no, wait. Blessed. Oh, is it because I'm 24 plus one? Okay. You'll have to pay normally, though. As much as the Grandmaster favours you, metal and work don't come for free. So I want one apprentice book as well. Walk That's so much of my money gone, but oh well. Right, so let's go to the alchemy place, see if I can sell anything there. Maybe buy some other learning books. Maybe some alchemy ones. That's what I'm here for. Take a look. 
right, what can I sell first of all? Poisons. Um, this archery potion. Let's get rid of it. Get rid of the bastion potion. Just need the money right now. Um, sell one of these soul gems. Magic potion. Get rid of that. Um, I don't use the mana potions very often, so I'm going to get rid of these rubbish ones. Uh, Rat meat is worth keeping, I suppose. I do. I should do some alchemy, in fact. Get rid of one of those. Um, Spectre tooth. Very cool. Spell tomes that I've already read. That's just free money. Okay, let's do a quick bit of alchemy, see if I can uh, make anything decent. I can always make this potion. It's a paralyzed potion that heals there must be a solution heals you. Um, no, let's try and just come up with something new. I've got some new ingredients here. Uh, let's mix mod mud morals with things because I've got tons of them. See if I can find anything else that restores health just like that. Very good. Um, make a couple of those. Spectre tooth. Uh, I'll mix the spectre tooth with some fog sponge as well. Yeah, shock resistance. I need to find a use for these roots as well. I've got loads of them. Oh, yes. Makes sense. Oh, right, okay. I knew what that did. Roots. Okay, a root and a thistle. Root and a sheer cap. Root and some salt. And this magic. I'll make another one just to sell it, I suppose. Root and rat meat and lavender. Damage stamina regeneration, okay. Hanging moss and bone meal. Restore magicka. Okay, we're we're learning. We're learning lots of facts, that's good. Make another one of those. They don't mix. Okay, cool. That's a couple more things that we can sell then. That's what I'm here for. Take a look. Oh, I want to make sure I'm selling. Uh, sell them. Two points. That's not very good. Get rid of that. Paralyze. I'll keep that. Paralyze. Restore health. It might be useful if I want to run away. Uh, no, get rid of it. Weakness to magic. That rubbish. Restore health. I've got loads. Restore mana. Shock resistance. Get rid of those. Shock resistance and restore health. We'll keep them. Life potion. I don't want that. Mana is increased. I don't want that either. Potion of might. I don't want that. Very good. That's everything I wanted to do, I think. Right, what are you selling? And what what my skills what first? List. I'm thinking maybe some alchemy. 
maybe some psionics as well. Or some other magic skills, I don't know. I've barely trained anything. Entropy's been pretty good. Summoning things has. Well, then you've come to the right place. Right, alchemy. So, now I need... Adept ones. So, let's buy... Four of those. Let's make sure I can use them. Yeah, okay, cool. Blessed. So alchemy's nice and high. Uh, and maybe some magic, maybe some like... Well, he's not going to sell entropy or psionics probably, is he? Let's see what else he does sell. Might not sell well, any magic ones. To the right place. At all. Elementalism, light magic, and mentalism. Yeah, I thought so. Enchant. Do I want to get into enchanting? Mm, I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe not. I'll uh, just keep going with alchemy, maybe. That's been pretty good. It's a good source of income as well. Get another three. Oh. List. Right, okay, that is faffing and training over. Uh, let's head down into the city. Let's start at the bottom. Let's go to the under... Under city. I want to look what look at what I need to make a uh, another the talisman because I found a different ghost, I didn't I last time? I really do. Uh, where do I need to go? The marketplace, main cavern. I think it might be the barracks. Yeah, here we go. Maybe I should have saved some money for coming down here. What is it, Sunchild? Nothing, I'm just having a look oh, at your I have to remember that. Plasmus workbench if you don't mind. <laughs> right, if I want to create a talisman. What? <laughs> you just wait and see. Fucking. What do I? What do I do? See. Yeah, it's Soul Pyrian Scout. Can I not do that yet? Because that's like a rank two. Okay, let's have a look. Let's have a look at this. Um, which one is it? This one. Rank one, I see. Arcane Smith. Ah, do I have any memory points? I do have one. Dismantle enchanted weapons and armor. Can I not do that yet? I might get Arcane Smith just so I can start improving my gear. I need Soulsmith 2 to 
do the second one. Okay, I want to get to there, I guess. That's two perks to burn through. And this uh, this first guy I can summon doesn't quite seem worth it, but maybe it will be worth it when I get the more powerful ones. Alright, I'm going to get Arcane Smith, because that's something I can use right now. I can just use that to start improving all of my gear. Okay. Okay, I'm going to need more money probably, aren't I? But I can go to the bank. I've got money in the bank. Right, that's all I want to do he down here for now then, I suppose. Yeah, I'll save some money. You're not from here, are you? I heard you talk. Uh, no, is there a signpost around here? Oh, blah, blah, blah. There we go. Up to the marketplace. Hear my words, O oh path abiding people of right. this holy city. How much money do I have? Not much. I can sell. Rumors circulate. Rumors about Maybe a couple of things. Let's speak to him. Uh huh. Golf or Silverman? Have I talked to him about this before? Do you also sell information by any chance? Information? What do you mean? I don't know. I'll slide him 25 pennies. I'm an adventurer and I'd wager that you, as a merchant over here, a lot of useful things. Let me see. Hmm. That's not very much, but fine. A couple of moons ago, I had a really strange guy as a customer. He wore two sabers, like those coal people do, but when he moved, he was really swift about it. Like he was some kind of thief. Interesting. I think he was an assassin, as they call him. Quiranian contract killers. You can hide within a fortress, but they'll find you. Somehow break into your room and kill you in your sleep. And unlike those everyday scroungers, they know how to wield a sword. Like Lorem Waterblade did. Who knows? Maybe that'll help you. A merchant told me about an assassin who was pro proficient in both sneaking and fighting. I wouldn't mind speaking to someone who could train me in sneaking, to be honest. That would help, because I can't sneak for all any... I, I'm just rubbish at sneaking at the moment. Okay, let me, um, let me sell you some stuff so I have some now, more money to, uh, put them out for you to, to, look to give you. Tell me what you need, and be quick about it. Right, let's go through everything. Oh, you can have this old robe. Uh, potions, I'm okay. I have this book about... Have I read about Golden Forced? No, we need to go there at some point, though. For some reason, I can't remember why. Butcher of Ark. Those two copies we haven't read yet. Crystal Jellyfish. I thought I read that. Maybe not. Oh, we can have this silver bowl and a silver candlestick. That's good. I was keeping that ruined book for something. I can find another one. I was using it for one of the uh, the totem, the talismans, but I'm not going to worry about the other rank 1 one now. I'm going to get ready to do the rank 2 one when I get that perk. Okay, how much money do I have? Enough for another another tip. Interesting, did you hear any other stories like that? What? That wasn't enough? Huh. Let me think. <sighs> yeah. There was that wench once. A farmer. She came running into the city as if chased by the Black Guardian and told the guard something about an ambush on her farm. Nothing unusual, you could say, mm -hmm. especially nowadays, but apparently the bandits were led by a mage. And, well, if you can believe that farmer woman, 
she conjured the sunfire down from the sky. Green fire, lightning, the living dead rising from the ground, a wild mage. In other words, one of those sinistropes. But she also knew elemental magic like the keepers do. I wouldn't want to come across someone like her. Oh. I see what he's doing. He's he's giving me hints towards like the secret classes, isn't he? Like which skills you can raise, which um, kind of synergize to make a certain class. So if you know fighting and stealth, you can become an assassin. If you know elementalism and summoning, you become a, a sinistrope. Walk <sighs> Maybe we should get into elementalism. Only the best and fresh from the Red Sea. Hear my words, O Path of Idiot. Um, right, how much money do I have? Apples, dates, bananas, the freshest fruits right from the farmer's coast and Duneville. Let's see what I would need to upgrade things. Uh, Hammers, daggers, swords. The best from the Kalean archipelago to this beautiful country. Mm -hmm. Can I let me know when something catches your interest? Can I just uh, hop on here a second. Well, upgrading that doesn't seem to do anything. Well, I get one leather for the armor. That's the only thing that seems to be upgradable. I hope that's not a bug. I'll buy one leather. Can I? Sorry, I know I keep getting in your way. Can I have a look at this a second? Oh wait, this is to make things. No, I don't want to do this. <laughs> I want to. Excuse Scout. Sorry, everyone. Steal. I can... can I just have a go on this? Well, that doesn't do anything. Does upgrading things work? Or am I just not very skilled at it? I'm not sure. My smithing is very low. Well, okay. I'll just buy one leather then. Looking for everything for the path abiding soldier. Do you have any leather in stock? Uh, no. I think the lady next door will. Again. Yes. Of course. I would like to buy some leather, if I could. What the hell is it under all of this? Oops. Thank you. Do you have a, a, a an armoring bench? Here we go. Acts like a sublime. Some people just don't know their place. There we go. That's improved slightly. Some things never change. It's weird that I can't upgrade to any of my weapons. That's what the main thing I was hoping for, to be honest. <sighs> yeah, as if. Okay then, um, Oh, that's not the exit. I'm lost. How do I get out this way? Right, that's all of that done. While we're in this city, let's wear our fine clothes. Okay, good. Um, the other thing was to 
ask for work at the Golden Sickle, but where is that? Oh, we meant to speak to uh, Kalia about old Dothelgrad as well. I forgot about that. Where is that? In the south quarter? Maybe like the noble quarter, that sounds... That sounds right, I think. My sir. Abiding people. Or the southern quarter. Yeah, okay, let's try that. No, am I in the wrong place? Back here. Ah, Golden Sickle Trading Post. It's down, down here. It's in the marketplace. Okay. Yes. I have. Hang on, I've managed to. Toggle my ENB off. Sir. There we go. Hungry? I've got just what a weary traveler needs. Come to your rich oh, house. Is this it? Is this it? I see. Only the no. best. Delicacies. The only the best. Straight from Kile. Take. Do I have to? I have to go around all of these buildings, do I? Look. <laughs> Apple. You just. How do I keep doing that? Dates, bananas, oh, the precious fruits, right? Luck blessed. And doom Yes? I don't know if I've ever come round here. What's this shop? I just don't see the fucking point. Samuel Goldenford. Oh, hello. I haven't seen you around here before. Uh, just take a look around and tell me if you see anything you like. He's got the same dialogue as the guy in Riverville. Oh, a bit of this and that. Uh, feel free to take a look. Ooh, a blue, ooh, a blue silk robe. Wouldn't mind one of those. Jewelry. Crafting book, rhetoric. Wouldn't mind some rhetoric skill. A large backpack. Purple silk robe. This a rake. Vartia's tongue, which is a, a name of a flower by the looks of it. This is a cool shop. What blessed? Wish I wasn't so skint at the moment. Greetings. Hi, sure. Take your time. It's not as if there's much to do down here anyway. So what, you're like a hunter, are you? No. Pyrian gauntlets. Where the hell did you get them? They look like it looks like blades armor. Protector gloves. A rune shield. And poisons. There's loads of cool little stalls around here. Loads of learning books. Malthus, bless your travels. Very cool. Um. What else do we have around here then? 
That's, that's a house for sale, I believe. Hmm? Hmm? Okay, I'll have that stuff. So is this the place we're going to? Yeah, here we go. Hmm? Hmm? I don't know who this guy is. Yes? Hi! Um... What, what exactly is this place? The, the Golden Sickle? Oh, you're an outlander, aren't you? Well, the Golden Sickle is the oldest merchant's guild here on Ark. We represent nearly half of this land's trading power, from dates to shadow steel. And, of course, we advocate for path-abiding trade in the name of the Lord. Now, this sounds right up Lucas's alley. What, what do you mean, in the name of the Lord? Yes. Contrary to some other so-called businessmen, we respect the holy verses when doing trade. We stand for hard work, path abidingness, and love of our craft. Yeah, sure, sure, me too. I'm, I'm a keeper, don't you know? You don't sound quite convinced, though, to be honest. Is that so? Oh, I wouldn't be here if that were the case, now would I? I suppose not. I see. Uh, this um, this goat is creeping me out. Uh, and how exactly does your guild work? What, what are your rules? What do you do? Well, that's simple. Whoever wants to be part of our guild has to work towards the benefits of all other circle merchants. He or she swears to respect our principles and pays a monthly token fee to the guild, depending on the volume of his sales. In return, that merchant benefits from our contacts and is eventually granted the Golden Sickle's badge, which marks him as a merchant of trust. That... Walk blessed. That badge is something that Lucas... Walk blessed. ...wants. Yeah, as if. That's something we need around here, and... We've, I know we've got the end of the world happening, but, um... Well, firstly, if we can't profit off the end of the world, what can we profit from? And also, we, we are broke. We need a better income. We're going to sustain our current activities. We need... We need money. What, what do you sell, first of all? Well, a bit of everything. Just look for yourself. Okay, let's have a look. So... couple of weapons, just an assorted collection of random stuff by the looks of it. Lots of um, scrolls that teleport you all over the place. Um, a load of booze, cider, wines, goat milk I saw, a couple of rare ingredients. Metal, silverware, nothing too exciting. Uh, yeah, I'm looking for I'm looking for some paid work. Do you have any? <laughs> There's always work, but if the sickle were to trust every day laborer who came along, we would have already gone bankrupt before the first vassals had even set foot on this land. If you really mean it, then you will have to prove it. It's that simple. All right. How am I supposed to do that? Well, just ask around and see if you can lend a hand. And now excuse me, I've got business to attend to. Well, I... Does he mean like in here or just generally around Ark? 
I mean, I have lent a hand where I could have done a few jobs and stuff. Do I have enough recommendations? Are you joking? Are you just plain stupid? You haven't helped anyone yet. Don't waste my time. Oh, I see. Maybe he does mean in here. Let's let's speak to some people. Um. Hmm. Hello. He won't speak to me. Is older? Huh? Uh, he won't speak to me. <sighs> Doria? Hmm? Can, can I lend a hand with anything? Ah, you're a day labourer, aren't you? Uh, Poor uh, you. Uh, I know how much convincing it takes for old Mendeleev to give you a proper job. But it's your lucky day. I actually have something. Yesterday, I lost my necklace here, somewhere in the trading post. It's small and silver colored, and it's very important to me. I wanted to go look at myself, but I'm lucky if I find time to breathe with all that work we have to do. What do you say? Find that necklace for me, and I'll tell Mendelis what a great addition to the sickle you'd be. Uh. Yeah. Yes. Somewhere in the trading post is a little vague. Do you remember where you last saw it? Darling, if I did, I wouldn't need your help finding it, would I? Alright, fair enough. Alright, put, put in a good word for me. When Penny Pouches asks you and I'll find your necklace. That's a deal. Good luck. So it's in here somewhere. Alright then, let's um... Let's have a look around. Lots of people here. She Ra. Work, work, work. This is a couple of beds up here. Oh. Doubt she would have lost it up by here. This main room. We've got this basement down here. Uh, yeah, as if. That leads down to a crypt. Okay. It's intriguing. Maybe up here somewhere? I mean, it could just be behind something. It could be. It could be anywhere. At the moment, I'm just kind of scouting out how big this place is, so I know what kind of area I'm looking around. But uh, okay, it's not not too big. And I don't think it would be back there. So let's assume it's not behind the counter. So it's just like literally knocking around here somewhere. Hmm. Hmm. Have you, have you seen a necklace? Work, Move along. Work. Could, could be up here. It's quite dangerous cl climbing on this hay with a lit torch. If only that man knew a thing or two about reliability. Okay, I can't see up here. Be up there? Huh? 
Hmm? Okay, let's... I've got an idea. Let's go up here. The golden drinking horn. Alright, that seems... I found a tattered book and a golden drinking horn. Both of those things seem important. She, that's what uh, Kalia calls us, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Must be Kyrenian. <sighs> hey, Rogash, I'm looking to start working for the sickle. Anything I could help you with? Oh, you want to impress good old penny pouches, don't you? Mm. Hey, there is something you can do for me. Just in front of the trading post, there's an old beggar. He stinks like a bloody batter. And keeps on asking every passerby for money. So he'll be hard to miss. Get rid of him. And I'll tell our quartermaster what a good fit for sickle you are. Okay, and... How exactly am I, am I uh, supposed to get rid of him? I don't know. Best give him a good beating or something like that. You look as if you could do that. Are you sure? Uh, I'll, I'll see what I can do. I'm going to try and not beat him up if I can. Well, good luck with that. Especially since the beggar doesn't even exist. I, for my part, will speak out against you when Penny Pouches ask me. Shit. Sorry? What? If you ask me, the last thing the sickle needs these days are more ruffians of your kind. If you're so eager to beat up people, then go talk to Rolada. We don't want you. Oh. Now let me get back to work. There's much to do. Damn. Damn, he played me. I wasn't, I wasn't actually going to beat him up. I was going to pay him or something. Places. Why is that stuff... Ah, you're near me, aren't you? I know that accent. People say your country has been reunited again. Mm. But apparently the one who's now ruling it is a monster. Mm -hmm. He burns down temples and crucifies priests. That's insane, isn't it? Oh, it's mad over there. But anyway, look, I'm, I'm desperate for some recommendations. Can I lend you a hand with something? Mm. Sorry, no. But thanks. Ask the others. Shit. Where's this bloody amulet? Work, work, work. <sighs> yeah, as if. I think it was my torch. Right, I, I am now going in circles. Oh, there it is! There it is! It's right there! Why is that stuff so expensive? Okay, okay, we're making progress. So that's one for us, one against us. Hey, Doria. Hmm? Is this your necklace? Show me. Well, I'll be damned. You found it! Where was it? Uh, up, 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 in the in the beams on a barrel. Aha! Uh -huh. However it got there. Anyway, thanks a bunch. Mendelis will only hear the best from me. All right, all right, we're, we're, we're ne neutral at the moment. Gunam? Huh? 
Look, I, I need a recommendation. Anything I can help you with. Uh, yes, you can. Take these papers here to the farmer. Eljas Goodwill. That saves me the cost of a courier. Um, okay, uh, where can I find Goodwill? He works at Borak's farm on the farmer's coast. Fair skin and orange hair. You can't miss him. Good luck. Alright, fine. Where's the farmer's coast? Um... Oh, up here, I see. All right, I can I can do that. Huh? Right. Who else can I help? Hmm. Well, that looks like it's it. I need to do this. Hey, I know you. Mm, no, you didn't like sorry, anything. No, but thanks. Ask the others. Okay, I guess we're going to the <sighs> farmer's coast then. All right, we can do that. Before we leave Ark, let's um. Before I forget, head up and speak with uh, Kalia. Mm, now, where did I put that? Yeah, let's go speak with Kalia. How far away is this? We could go around this way. That'd be fun. All right. People of this hungry for our right up to the Sun Temple. Sister, what blessed prophet? Ah, oh, you. How are things? You look a little. Right, where's Kalia? She's in the barrack quarter, okay. Tense. Well met. I do. It's nothing, I'm just... Uh, never mind. Did you hear about it? Barrack quarter? Good for her. Dunmore would have deserved this so much. How do I get there? Well, who am I to question mouths as well? Sigil bearer batars, will you mean? You shouldn't say something like that. Did I say something? Anyway, I have to go. Oh, how, do I, how do I get there? Um. No, 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 she's not. I'm looking at the wrong thing. She's in the sanctum. Okay. The Arch Magister needs to right. something. Malfa's blessings, brother. Keep walking. Oh, okay. Anyone seen? Oh shit! I have to remember that. Yeah, a good pipe of peace, seen Kalia knocking around yeah, anywhere? Why is that stuff so <sighs> yeah, this doesn't, doesn't make sense. Oh, there she is. Uh. <laughs> you just wait and see, fucking sissy. Walk blessed. Ah, uh, hi. Hi. Give us a moment, would you? Saira, good to see you. Do you need anything? Oh, no. I said earlier that that Kyrenian guy, 
He called me like She-Ra or something. But she calls me Sid. Oh shit, what does she call me? She just said it, like Sir Eerie or something. I, d I don't know. I'll try and remember. Um. Uh. Right, we've got loads of stuff to talk about. Uh, what do you think about current events? Let's keep it light to begin with. Well, what should I think about them? They're disquieting. Speaking of which, recently there's been word from the League of Apothecary up north. They say that their studies on the Red Madness haven't borne fruit yet. Yeah, I hear that. And that it is like no disease they've ever encountered. Honestly, that has rid me of the last of my doubts about the cycle being real, just as the Grandmaster said. Let's just hope we can find out how to stop it. So you're, uh, here by yourself. You seem to spend a lot of time on your own. Always like that? Well, as I told you, I was never very popular with the other novices. You know, the novitiate was very challenging. The magisters only rarely gave us days off to contemplate, as they called it. The others usually used it to go to the tavern to gamble and drink. I never really liked that kind of pastime, and I still don't. Oh. Yeah, how... What about love? Jesus, Lucas. Come off it. Uh, how come everyone, everyone needs to stretch their legs from time to time, don't they, Kalia? That's true, but when I feel the need to relax, I prefer taking a stroll or spending time in the baths. Whatever secret there is about relaxing to loud music, raucous shouting, and alcohol is beyond me. And gambling. Don't forget gambling. Anyway, yeah, I'm not. I'm not here for any reason. I, I just came by to, came by to talk. Mm, that's convenient, actually. I think I still owe you an explanation. Yeah, about a uh, old Dothel grad. I take it when you, when you went, all shadowy and really murdered that guy. About that. Yes, but let's talk somewhere else. Come on. Yeah. So, sorry for all the secrecy. I just didn't want anyone else to listen in. Yeah, I can uh, imagine why. So what did you want to discuss? We're kind of talking around the elephant in the room here, aren't we? Well, that moment when I neutralized the leader of the bandits in old Dothelgrad. I'm sure you noticed that I was different then. That's, uh, that's one way to put it. You seemed upset. Upset? You choose your words carefully, Saira. I appreciate that. Saira. I'll make this quick. There is something about me that you don't know. That no one knows, actually. Do you remember what I told you in the Curarium about the destroyed village? Well, I... I wasn't entirely honest with you. Okay. I don't like where this is going, so you do know what actually happened. Not all of it, no, and it's true that I don't know how I ended up there. But I remembered something, just before I regained consciousness. Some kind of... vague memory. A feeling, coupled with an image. A feeling? What, uh, what do you mean by that? It's hard to describe, because it didn't last very long, but... <sighs> I saw myself, but I was somehow above the rooftops, as if I flew. Below me, I saw all the chaos. The dead, the fire, the devastated houses, and I somehow felt hot, but from inside, as if my blood was boiling. <sighs> that sounds crazy, doesn't it? I'm sorry, but I don't know how to describe it better than that. So that was what, a memory? Something that really... I, I don't really know what you're saying here. It was something that actually happened, I'm sure of it. But the memory, it was somehow... blurred. Like a dream, but a very vivid one. So what, what happened then? What happened then? Nothing. I woke up, and from there things happened just as I've already told you. But that's not really what I'm trying to get at. In that memory, when I saw all those dead bodies and all that destruction, I felt... 
satisfaction, pleasure, as if all that suffering, all that pain was the most exhilarating thing I'd ever seen. Uh, what? What are you trying to tell me? Well, I didn't know what to make of that memory myself for quite a long time. But then, things happened that made me understand. There is something inside my head, Saira. Some kind of second soul, an entity. Most of the time it sleeps, but there are situations in which it wakes up. Mostly when something atrocious happens or has happened. Blood, pain, death. Whenever I'm confronted with these kinds of things, it tries to... I don't know how to put it. Tries to take control of me, and then things like Alt de Thulgrad happen. It's never managed to completely take me over, and it hasn't gotten as far as it did in Alt Thulgrad for a long, long time now. But that memory from the village, I think that is what happens when I let myself go completely. Uh, yeah, so, um... I'm guessing this power you suddenly had when you killed the bandit comes from this entity inside you? Yes, it is immense, Saira. I can feel it every time it is trying to take me over. I don't even want to think about what would happen if I were to give in completely. Yeah, so you have like a demon inside you. If that name seems fitting to you, then yes. But I think we both know these stories about ghosts taking over the living are just stories to scare the common folk. Well, apparently not. If it helps you, think of it as some kind of... Temptation. No, that's even weirder. One that's just waiting for the moment when I am too weak to contain it. This is this is a lot to take in, Kalia. I figure. Listen, what happened in Old Dothelgrad? I never should have let it come to that. But that moment when he charged me, the blood on his sword, I just couldn't contain it. And when I gave in, when I hacked him into pieces, I simply felt so... thrilled. Complete. <sighs> I was naive to believe it would never get that far again. Naive and stupid. But do you see now? This is the reason why I train so hard. Why I always try to control my emotions, no matter what people do or say to me. This creature inside me. It's always on the hunt. And the only way I can keep it at bay is by controlling both my body and spirit 100%. Just one moment of carelessness. That's all it takes. Oh, I see. So, does the Order know about this? The Magisters? Only Master Tyrus, my foster father. He taught me how to contain it by controlling my thoughts. And he also advised me never to tell anyone about it. Which I haven't until today. Okay. Um, uh, so, if if you were to let it take over completely, what, what would happen? I don't know. And truth be told, I'm not sure I want to. No, me neither. Uh, is there... Uh, yeah, I think I think we can presume she did destroy the village. So let's not talk, not not say that. We're both thinking it. I think. Um, is there anything you, you can do about this? No way to like banish it or something. No way that I know of, at least. Who should I ask? The apothecary. Maybe. There are two ways that would go. Either they would ridicule me, or they would take me seriously and report my condition to the order. Neither way helps me, and who knows what the Order would do if they found out. Especially as strained as the situation is right now. Uh, mm. if, if violence provokes this thing, why are you with the military wing of the Order? What? Okay, why, why did you tell me then? I don't know. Probably because I was afraid you'd tell someone else about what happened in Old Dothelgrad and that that would raise suspicions. Right. A coward's move, I know, but it was the best solution I could come up with. I'm sorry. 
Fair enough. Okay, so if violence provokes it, is it a good idea for you to be working in the military? Well, what would be the alternative? Transcribe Pyrian books like the Magisters do all day? Yes. Or drop out entirely and pour hot water for the upper city's noblewomen? Look, Saira, as you've already pointed out, there is a chance that this thing inside me is responsible for the massacre in the village. And if that's true, I definitely have a lot of repentance to do, don't you think? And even if it isn't... I want to change things, to make the world at least a little bit better. And yes, I do realize that this means a lot of hardship and hard work for me, but I'm not afraid of that. Do you know why? Because that's what's missing in this world. Okay. So many people just talk, 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 and never act, because that would mean that they'd have to actually endure something for what they believe in. Okay, calm down. Calm down, Kalia. <laughs> Don't get too, uh... Yeah, maybe you should tone down your emotions. Well, fanaticism hardly does any good, but also you might turn into a monster. Um, yeah, t tone down your emotions. I think Lucas is a bit nervous at the moment. Well, I'd say it does more good than indifference, don't you think? Please keep silent about what I've told you. You have my word that it will never come to that again. Okay. Bloody hell. Looks like the rumours are true. Where the hell are we? Transcribe verse oh, 80 100 yeah, times. Makes sense. Right, keep what you heard <sighs> to yourself, skeleton. Fire. Magisters never change. It's awfully dark in here. <sighs> That's beyond me. Where are we? Oh, we're in here. Alright, very good everyone. Keep up the hard work. How do I leave? <sighs> this just doesn't make sense. Gosh, this is dangerous. Should put some railings on these stairs. Okay, that's all of that wrapped up. Next up, let's make our way to the farmer's coast, I suppose. Go on a bit of a hike. Shouldn't take long, we'll be back by evening. Let's, um, let's change into our hiking gear. And go to the main gate. So I think we want to go this way. Is that right? Yeah, that's, that's it. Up, up this road. Just go around the lake, basically. Open it, my sir. Should we uh, have a look at these papers we've been given? Oh, silence. I didn't know I uh, picked that. Mesmerize. Learn that as well. Ah, Gunam's vouchers, that's what we're delivering. Okay, I didn't ask what they were because I was hoping we could have a look when they were given to us, but we can't. Right. They're just a miscellaneous it's item. Natural. Delivering some kind of vouchers though, that's... I don't know, novel I suppose. You just wait and see. Bit grim with all the skeletons hanging up here. Thieves, I guess, or bandits or something. I think we're going this way. 
Well, this is a gate into Ark, is it? Now this goes up into the mountains. This is not the way I should be going. Oh, it is the way. Okay, cool. Got some tower by here. Let's have a look at this. Northern Watchtower. Doubt there's anything too exciting in there. Oh, let's have a look anyway. Why not? Some wine. Yeah, Lucas is going to have a day off because it's been it's been an intense couple of days. We'll have a day off. We're going to stroll in the sun, sipping on a bottle of wine. I hope it's not his wine. Well, we'll, we'll hide it from him. We'll just hold it behind our back. Oh, cool. And just, yeah, have a have a nice hike in the weather. Off to just deliver some vouchers. No... No... No bandits. No ancient Pyrian machines. No dungeons We're in the sun. Look at that view. Amazing. Time is it? it looks like it's getting a, a little bit late. It is the evening. Yeah, we better get a move on. That bridge up there is cool. Field near the mill. What does that mean? Old granary. Looks like some people sleep out here occasionally as farmers and stuff. I just want to go. I just want to wander off down that path, see where it takes me. This is quite nice as well, though. Wonder what's down there. Hey, look at this. Is this just a, a, an old outpost? Uh, is it manned currently? There's someone by there. Some buildings there. Oh, I'm glad we came this way. This is this is awesome. Bridgehead Farm. Bridgehead Farm. Hail! Hail, city guard and man. I'd like to go up there. We're going this way. I'll speak to you, wanderer. War on Nerum. War on Kile. Red madness. The fuck is wrong with this world? Oh, don't get me started, mate. Don't get me started. What's this? 
The Red Ox. Is this a tavern? On the way back. On the way back, we'll we'll stop at the Red Ox. Maybe a pint, pint on the way? We can stop for a pint. We've got time. Oh, this place is nice. Malfas's blessings. Ma yeah, same Ooh. to you. Ah, I'm looking for something to drink. What have you got? A little bit of this and that. Why not take a look? Ooh. Maybe some cider. It doesn't have any wine. I guess we'll try the cider. We haven't had cider before. I'll have some cider. And that's it, because now we are skint. Luckily, I brought my own food. May your path always be even. Mead! Stew! Roast pork! Anyone? Um... Lucas will sit here for a while. I don't know, it's a bit warm, actually. Maybe we'll go sit in the corner. Is that guy gambling? Oh, yes, of course she'd say that. I don't have any money. Hmm? Where did I put... Well, we'll have a... Have our cider with this patron here. And maybe if we make some money on the way, we'll stop for a bit of gambling on the way back. Just listening to this Thanks. conversation. How about you? Come on, who are you trying to trick? You're not fine. What's wrong? What's wrong? I. It's my boy. Remember how I told you about this old alchemist who took up his apprentice? One more thing to say. Let's talk about the sickle. Yeah, sure. What about it? Maze. Stew. Anyone? And we haven't heard from him since. Huh. Let's see. I think you worry too much. I'm sure your boy is fine. He's probably just, I don't know, busy. You know how all those old masters are. You're lucky if they let you breathe with all that work they give you. I hope so. My wife's worried half to death. Speaking of her, I think I should head home now. Malfas is blessed. These guys. And thanks. Don't mention it. Take care. Ah. Uh. They look identical. They're the same person. Oh, yes. Weird. Hello. What? Nothing. Nothing. I'll be going. It's getting a bit late. Evening. Evening. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. All right. Off we go. Evening, fellas. How far are we? Oh, we're, we're basically here. Basically here. I think this is the place. Well, look at that. That is... That's a... An actual farm. I think this is where we're going. Well, maybe not. Maybe not actually in the mill. Is there like a farmhouse around here or something? Ah, it's probably that building, isn't it? Just want to have a quick look at these bits of ruins over here. Mm, nothing, nothing exciting about them. 
There's wolves by then. Let's let's, let's not. Right, let's head over to the farmhouse. Oh, it feels like the temperature has suddenly dropped. I bet Lucas wishes he had some sleeves. Forex farm. This, that's, this is the place, isn't it? Hi, Morik. Any luck with the vermin? Nah, uh, don't remind me. The other day, some dimwit traveler came by and told me he'd be able to deal with the rats by stuffing their holes with stones. Nonsense, of course. Three days later, those bloody beasts were back through new holes. Surprise, surprise. I hope you didn't pay him. Well, it was very convincing. Ugh, you can't be serious. Blazes, I was desperate. I tried everything. Poisons, traps, even some magical potion from that Kilean merchant in Ark. Nothing works. Uh, did you just say magical potion? What's going on here? Some magical Kiranian concoction. They used it to get rid of all kinds of vermin over there, and he brewed it in cooperation with the Order's alchemists. Did he know? What do you mean? Oh, just that I've heard stories. Word has it that he sold Rorik his own piss as a remedy for his headaches. Anyway, we need to do something. I'll talk to the Sickle tomorrow. Maybe they can send someone to take care of it. Well, someone's optimistic. They haven't even answered my request from last year yet. Well, it doesn't hurt to try, does it? God bless, Morik. I have an errand to run. Hey, Morik. His name's not Morik, his name is Sirius. Excuse me. Uh, Help you with something? Uh, I'm looking for Borek, I think. Rats, bugs, spiders. <sighs> Hi, uh, he's not saying anything to me. Ah! El Elias El Jas. Goodwill. I have some papers for you, apparently. It's him I'm looking for. From the Golden Sickle. Ah, excellent. Many thanks, Monsieur. Hmm. There you go. That's it. That's that sorted, I guess. And these are all people's houses here. That makes sense. A bit disappointed I didn't get tips for that. I wanted to make some money before uh, we head home. It's a boat down here. Can't rob a boat though, can I? Let's go have a look though. Small dock. Fisher's Pier. My sir. My sir. Oh, I'd need to do some cooking. You guys don't mind if I just kind of cook up some uh, wolf meat? That's it. I'm, I'm out of salt. I always use up all my salt. Okay, I think it's time to head back. As much as I'd like to continue exploring, it is getting a little bit dark. This is nice. I like all the planters they put down here. Very picturesque. Looks like a nice place to live. dog. Oh, it's not quite as inviting though, is it, at night time? Maybe we'll stay at that inn for the night. Maybe I can sell some mushrooms or something to pay for a room.
I will see you. Traveling around, huh? You should stop by the Red Ox. Great music, good food, and lots of apple cider. It's true. I've already been there. I'm heading there right now. If I can pick enough mushrooms to buy me a pint. I hope they uh I hope they want mushrooms in the uh in the inn. Oh Lucas, this isn't Hello. very dignified. But we've all been here, a couple of pints in and we end up picking random mushrooms to be able to afford your next drink. Walk blessed, my child. How may I help you? Who? Hmm? Who's saying, oh, who are you? Uh, what do you want? Priest Icamaton. Uh, I'm an outlander. Could you explain to me what this path really is? I feel like we, we should, should kind of know, being as we are an actual keeper now. <laughs> what it is? Now that's quite the question you're asking there. But fine, why not? The path is two things. Oh, and the game crashed. Guess we'll never know.